Alright, let's see. Hello everybody. Happy New Year. Hello everybody. Happy New Year. It's gonna be a good one. Today's video is the 2020 Bruno on Frame year in review. I'll touch upon some videos I did last year and also, you know what, I'm also gonna ask you guys to do me a favor. Um, next week I'm doing a Q&A. So I'm gonna obviously need you guys to submit some questions in the comments down below. I'll give more details in a bit. But first I wanna thank everyone for coming out to my New Year's Eve live stream. It was great seeing you guys. I was out in player with a little gathering, you know, kind of playing it safe. The numbers are going up in Thailand. So yeah, we need to, um, we need to be careful. We've needed to be careful and now we really need to be careful. Yeah, thanks everyone again for coming to the live stream and Roger. A special shout out to you. Roger gave a very generous super chat. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. So what's new? 2021 kind of started off kind of where 2020 left off, but um, kind of different. The first thing I saw the morning of New Year's, um, New Year's Day was when I woke up. Uh, my friend Sean sent me a message. I mean, I don't know how many people really know about this or are really interested, but my favorite uh, producer MC MF Doom has passed away at the age of 49. Uh, I feel really bad. He passed away on Halloween, but for some reason the family they um, made the announcement on New Year's Eve. So that was that was really sad news. And a couple of days ago, wow, that was um, some news. Some geniuses decided to storm the Capitol building in Washington D.C. I don't know if they wanted to wanted a coup, take a selfie with the president. Not quite sure what those maniacs hoped to achieve, but I'm gonna say bad form. If I had to sum up 2020, you know, I, I, I could give like a long rambling summary of what I feel 2020 meant, but you know what? There's a creator called Rodney Norman. He, he said it perfectly. He said my sentiments in mumbles and in kind of words and you know what? Here's a couple seconds of his video. So so the most important thing you, uh, you got to remember is, you know, okay, so so some, so some some people were, you know, they were doing some stuff and then the, and then the other people were like, "Hey, don't do, don't do that stuff." And then other people were like, "Hey, yeah, they should do you know that stuff it's good that they're doing that stuff and then the other people are like i don't think they should be doing that stuff and perfectly said mr norman link down below you know before we get to the 2020 bruno unframed year in review as i mentioned like a couple seconds ago i'm going to be um doing a q a next week and you know if you could please you know submit some questions down below in the comments of this video i'd really appreciate it and in the vein of the show Hot Ones. It's a really good, very popular interview show where celebrities are asked questions while eating spicy wings. Ask questions down in the comments below and I'm going to eat these crazy ass spicy noodles. Yeah, these are called Daybok Ghost Pepper Noodles. Probably saying it wrong. Other creators have, have done like these challenges while eating these spicy noodles. I'm a little concerned about eating these noodles. I've seen other creators, they were pretty wrecked doing it. I don't know if they're playing it up or if they weren't really good at eating spicy food. I think I'm not too bad at eating spicy food, but you know, just to be safe, I'm gonna do it kinda early, not real early, like probably like 11. I'll have um, orange juice. I read that you're supposed to have like acidic type drinks on hand. In, in the vein of hot ones, I'll have like a glass of milk. So I'll have some drinks available and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make sure I have nothing to do in the evening because I don't know, I might, I might be in the bathroom all day. Not sure, who knows what's gonna happen after eating these. I, I'm sure I'll survive, but I'll probably, I'll probably lose some weight. So please have any questions by Friday, January 15th at 7 a.m. Bangkok time. And as I said, put down the comments down below. So on to the 2020 Bruno Unframed recap. Oh, I just want to mention 
that most of the videos I'll be talking about will be linked down below. The 2020 New Year's video started out pretty hopeful. Uploaded a New Year's Eve party I went to out in player. Had no idea what 2020 had in store. The monk threw water on me, so it's all good. 2020, Happy New Year, Swati so my. I feel like I'm in a Disney movie or something, like the land of the little people. I know, I know, I know. More vodka. It's almost uh, New Year's. Just like music playing and stuff, it's cool. Bruno Unframed is Bruno Unsober right now. Five, four, three, two, one. 2020, Swati my Happy New Year, Cup. Yay! I then showed some video of my 2019, like mid-November 2019 trip out to Nongkai. And I love Nongkai. Had a great time. But unfortunately, my trip did not end very well. I, um, well, you'll see in the video down below, but around 7 a.m. in the morning, 50 meters from where I was staying in, there was a huge fire. As far as I know, I didn't die. And, that, and that's a good thing. Getting in this thing. I, uh, I'm probably paying way too much right now, but I'm on holiday. I'm a tourist. I'm gonna go to the down lake. I'm gonna go uh, downtown Vientiane. I'm gonna see the sights. So basically, Bruin Frame might not be based in um, Chiang Mai anymore. It might be based in Laos. I might get kicked out of Thailand. Okay, put in comments below. How much money would you give me to drink this mystery liquid? Tuk Tuk drivers have a built in bed in the back of their tuk tuks. And we're off. Entering Thailand. Alright, it's around 7.30 at night. I'm in Nong Kai. Uh, on my way to the hotel. Wow, we're stuck at a temple right now. See, I don't have a life vest. I had my laptop, but I don't think that would have did me any good. Oh my god. Yeah, this is terrible. Then a few weeks before the whole virus situation got serious in Thailand and in the USA, some friends of mine moved back to the States and I did a video about you know, one of the things here that you don't hear much about is kind of how your friends kind of, I mean, I guess in all aspects of life, friends kind of come and go, but especially if you're an expat, if you make friends with other expats, they go back to their own country for work, family, just homesickness, whatever. So I show, you know, like the party before they went back. And also I did an article reaction to an article called How to Deal with a Friend Moving Away. It's an unfortunate truth you have to deal with as an expat here with uh, people moving back to their home countries. So I read a good article on WikiHow called How to Deal with a Friend Moving Away. So let's go down here to this restaurant and discuss the article and discuss some of the ways I deal with friends who leave. Let's watch the video from a couple nights ago at the farewell dinner. So this could be one of the worst restaurant slash food reviews ever. So we got, I got that going for me. All right, I mentioned earlier that this is a restaurant that Andy Richter, Andy Ricker and Anthony Bourdain went to. Well, Mr. Ricker's here right now and he's translating the, the menu in English for us. Well, more food that I can't eat. Here, let's, I mean, let's some sometimes. Sometimes pretty good, actually. We could probably combine yeah. this. sticky rice. What? Here, let's do that. Smart, smart. And, and then some meat. Combine. Oh wow! Andy Richter, and Anthony no, Bourdain. That's Anthony Bourdain. Okay. Saying goodbye to some friends who are going back to America. I'm gonna miss them. I think it was a good and pretty helpful video. I was happy with how it turned out. I then talked about some diseases that were making headlines at the time. Then in mid-February, I uploaded a video saying I wasn't going to upload a video. I didn't mention it in the video, but I had a headache, felt like I was going to die, lost my sense of taste. I did go to the hospital to get tested. They're like, well, have you been to China? Um, you don't have a fever, so if you haven't been to China, you don't have a fever, so you probably just have a cold. So they gave me a bag full of pills, so I laid low for a while. I mean, I felt better after a couple of days, but I kind of, I didn't self-isolate, but I didn't like go out and about. I was very careful with not traveling. 
Then the following week, my friend Eric sent me a wonderful surprise, a cameo from Marky Ramon, giving my channel a shout out. I hope to wear a Bruno and Frame shirt. Then after that, I started to notice things were slowing down in Chiang Mai, and you know, less and less tourists, the places started to close down, and I also did my first Q&A. Yeah, we're in the mask, uh, pollution's high, and I don't want to get kicked out of the country. I'm going to downtown today, going to, uh, going to answer your questions that you submitted this week. This is Taipei Gate, but Taipei Gate usually has a lot more people than this. It's pretty bad, it's pretty empty. Last week I asked you guys to send me some um, questions and thank you very much. You guys obliged. You sent in some really good ones. Greetings from Sulatani. How do you do your laundry? Hey Ken, what do you see for your future on YouTube? Tom kind of had two shots of wheatgrass. He's sitting there with no pants on, on the phone. I think he's... Tom kind. do you have a girlfriend? Can you talk about visa extension? Do you stick it out by staying in Chiang Mai during the smoky season? My good friend Dale asked, what was the most surprising thing that you learned after moving to a different country? Great question. One of the people who asked questions in my Q&A was my friend Dale who passed away soon after. So yeah, I made a little video, kind of a tribute to him or not even a tribute to him, just talking about that my friend passed away. Then freaking lockdown happened here. Um, made a series of videos all worried about being isolated in a small apartment. I did some stuff on how to deal with stress. Went out, I sat in this parking lot and drank beer and... Wow, those are a lot of fireworks. What the hell's going on? Okay, happy new year. I I'm not sure where I left off, so I'm just gonna say this. I did some stuff on how to deal with stress the future, uh, I went on a picnic, drinking beer alone in an abandoned parking lot. The future, I don't know, a bunch of worried stuff. I think I said future twice. I don't know, this is a, this is gonna be a big adjustment. You know, I'm gonna be locked in my room for a couple months. I wonder how much these cost. We'll get through this. I, I'm pretty hopeful right now. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. This whole thing gives whole new meaning to mascot. I need to Google human consumption of dog food. All right, I'm seeing spots. This is no time to burn out my retinas. There's only so much time in the day you can stay busy. I, I don't know what I wanna, what I wanna be projecting to the world right now. Maybe they don't wanna be around me. <laughs> all right, if that isn't a spooky omen, I don't know what is. You know, when this is all over, I'm gonna buy this freaking suit. One last freaked out video is I did a monthly budget under lockdown because one good thing about lockdown you can't do anything so I didn't spend that much money. So the grand total that I save per month under social distancing, under social isolation, under being alone in my room is... Then as things started opening up I wasn't able to go to Player to see my girlfriend so I made a couple of videos of me whining about not being able to get on a bus. I honestly think it'd be weird if I wasn't standing in the tire. Oh, son of a... Now I have the ticket for Thai people only. Oh, that's nice. Sorry. All right, cop. That, that's awesome. That's wonderful. I was in kind of a good mood this morning. I'm not really happy right now. That's... I met a few subs who ended up becoming friends. Hey, how you doing, Kevin? We are better looking in person. Yeah, okay. How are you doing? Good. So am I as big of a weirdo in person as I am? You're really dark. Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. It's just... Uh... All right, Dennis. All right. It's good meeting you. Good to meet you nice too. guy. Good luck. Have a good trip back. See you. See you later. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Right. Then eventually I was able to go to Player. Road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. My uh, girlfriend, she should be here anytime. All right, look who just came here. Look who just arrived. Hey, it's a, how hey, are you? How are you doing? Uh, I stepped on a cat. Oh, oh. I stepped on a bug. Hopefully, it was already dead. All right, so I had some water thrown on me, put a string around my neck, had some blessings, thought some good thoughts about my friend Dale. I only take this off. Oh, well, we all die. We're all born, we all live, we all die. All right, we're gonna go to KFC. Hello. 
When I got back from Plair, I got carpal tunnel surgery. Made a few birthday videos. You're Ed McMahon, and I'm Johnny Carson. All right, well, Johnny Carson needs some happy water and some snacks for the party. It's my birthday. Some kind. Don't say anything racist. Mm. Don't say anything sexist. Yeah. You heard it here, I have an extra large ding dong. <laughs> Sir, he was um, wearing a red hood. Do you come in peace? State your purpose. Happy to me. Happy birthday to me. Then in September, we finally did it. We hit a thousand subscribers. I was pretty happy about that. Celebration time. This is an impromptu live stream. I just want to thank everybody. I finally hit a thousand subscribers. Saw some live jazz. Went to the zoo. Oh wow, that's his tail. I was like, okay, what's going on here? It's like, that's a pretty lucky cat. Not many people know this, but Thailand was paid to build this wall by Mexico. I don't know, let's go and listen to some jazz music. We're at the zoo. All right, what are these two doing right here? This one is single and ready to mingo. Oh yeah. Where did he go? Oh man. There's this hose. That guy's inside that big old alligator's belly. Went out and had some had some uh, interesting lunch with my homeless friend Tom Khan. He had raw buffalo. Claire. Fana. Claire. Go Fana. Claire. Tom Khan. Claire. Claire. Oh, Claire. Drop home. Yeah, my girlfriend's in Claire. I don't know how to say it. Hey, Tom Khan, look at you in the back of a pickup truck. So here's some uh, buffalo meat. That looked pretty damn raw to me. I don't want to touch it because you know, I don't want to get some kind of food all dirty. It's really spicy. There's a hospital down that way. I saw. I did see a hospital. Speaking of my homeless friend Tom Khan, I did um, some videos on his changing living conditions in my Concerns for a Friend series. This is kind of unsettling right now. You said that Tom Khan, in his words, is under the big tree right there. Oh, here's Tom Khan. Ah, sweaty cup. Yeah, so this is where Tom Khan's staying. Did a well-received apartment tour, my new apartment, and just kind of a breakdown of how much it costs to furnish it. My place. Okay, this is, this is the living room. My office. This I bought. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna run down the prices, not only on my rent, utilities, but also some of the furniture I purchased to furnish a partially furnished apartment in beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand. Did my first monthly series, A Day With, where I chronicle people around me in Thailand. The first episode was with my retired friend, Daryl. All right, before we get to the interview, you know, I want to ask a very inappropriate question. You know, we don't even, we only know each other for a short time. I said, well, let's just get married and see how it goes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be coming here at Christmas. I'll more likely be passing out on here if they don't kick me out. Made a video talking about the holiday blues and then the following week I made a rather jolly, tipsy video about my Christmas. It's that time of the year, the holiday blues. Tied in with a global pandemic. You know what? Let's go up to my place, talk about some healthy ways to deal with the holiday blues. Quai lap. That's raw buffalo meat, right? No, that's oh, cranberry. If anybody knows where I am and I disappear, this is the last place I've been. And my head feels like it's gonna come off right now. I then ended the year with a small gathering in Player Thailand, did a live stream. Well, that's the 2020 Bruno Unframed Year in Review. I hope you enjoyed it. A brief rundown of the content I made for the wonderful year we call 2020. You know, I call 2020 many different names in private and publicly. But seriously, I have many things in my life that I'm really grateful for. I'm, yeah, in private and on my channel, I'm really grateful for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys watching, subscribing, commenting, whatnot, I'd be basically talking to myself and you know, I do enough talking to myself, especially during lockdown. As I said, next week I'll be doing a spicy noodle taste test while answering your questions. Probably later I'll have some explosive diarrhea. So as I said 5 million times, please ask a question down below in the comments and also, you know, let me know what your favorite 
video or unfavorite video or moment on Bruno and Framed was and also if you feel comfortable with it please let me know how was your new year please subscribe to the channel I have a lot of content if you're already subscribed click that bell plenty more videos coming out if you like this video hey why not give it a thumbs up if you want to contact me click on the Instagram link down below send me a direct message there I'm pretty good at responding and as always no matter who you are or where you are, peace.